if I had your job, I would be in traction six, six minutes after showing up on set. I got the <laughs> knees of an 80 year old. They need a superhero for that. Like there are not it, enough like middle-aged <laughs> superheroes dealing with those problems. And I feel like <laughs> you need to be represented too. I would watch it. I would watch it. I would take my parents to watch it. First of all, where are you? What am I seeing here? Um, you're you're in my apartment in 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 Sydney. Um, you're seeing uh, oh god, you're seeing you're seeing a couple of chairs, a couple of some pillows that I've laid out. Just um, you know, uh, Grand. Grand. I, I haven't laid it out actually. That's just you know that's just the way it looks <laughs> all the time. But so so a typical day for you in quarantine is what? I'll tell you what. It's definitely not. It's definitely not waking up way too late playing Nintendo Switch for two to three hours and then um, and then going on TikTok. That's definitely not what I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing uh, heavily regimented uh, workouts and eating right and not having KFC uh, no, delivered. No. Uh, no. <laughs> can you pull back the Marvel curtain just a little bit for me? I don't know what you can tell me and what you can't tell me, but I do remember that when uh, Chris Pratt was getting into Star-Lord shape, he was showing us mm -hmm. the really lame snacks that he had to eat. I think he called it like snack <laughs> attack on Twitter or something like that. Snack but attack. Yeah, the I, I see. Yeah, but it, it yielded the results that we all saw. Um, right. And I, I got like, are, are they keeping an eye on your body fat? You know, they were. They definitely, <laughs> they definitely were. <laughs> um, and then, you know, and you know, when, when quarantine hits, you know, not everybody, uh, not everybody's keeping track. I'm not getting the phone calls anymore. I don't get the meals shipped, um, you know, to my, to my door every week. So I, uh, you know, I've largely been left to my own devices. Right over here, this is where I work out. And I have already had what I believe is one of the worst workouts of my life. I, I'm now, I'm not having a tequila soda. So that's... Oh, that's ah. my post. Oh, you that's are. My post yeah, workout. You're okay, you're living. Yeah, awesome. I mean, it's I think it's morning where you are, but for me, it's end of day. Tell me one thing. Like a year ago, you and I were both in the same boat as um, lovers of Marvel movies, and now we're not in the same boat anymore because we're both Marvel movie lovers. But now you are part of the MCU. So just tell me one thing as a Marvel fan that you have learned. Okay that blew your mind about the MCU now that you're on the other side of the looking glass. Yeah, oh my God, I have so many of those moments every single day and I probably can't talk about any of them. But maybe it's, maybe it's something about- about, like, about the secrecy, like, like about the scripts. Do they take the scripts back from you after you read them? Yes, yes they do. They don't and let they shred you put on a bus. Yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't let you pull a, pull a Tom Holland and, and, and say some, something you're not supposed to say. Yeah, I feel like he, I, there's a general sense around around the company that he he ruined it for everybody else, and and because you know of some leakages that have happened now, to to err on the side of caution, you know, uh, everybody's kind of just like, okay, this is you take your script from here. So. But I get it, I get it, and and you know, I'm sure there's you know, I'm sure there's people watching um, from Marvel right now to make sure I don't say the wrong thing with you, which is very difficult sure. because you're very charming. And I just, I feel like I this... want to open up to you. I mean, I don't think we've spoken since I did the Comic-Con thing, but but that was honestly like, talk about pulling back the curtain. It was like arriving in San Diego on like four days notice because I was cast, I was cast on um, a Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon, I got a call. And uh, Saturday morning, you know, I'm on a flight to San Diego. And then, and then it's just like doors open and literally it's like everybody that I grew up watching and they're all in the same place because it's the, you know, it was the 2019 Comic-Con. It was right after Endgame. The whole world was like, well, what now? What's happening? And, um, you know, it was just like, it was such a big announcement that they were making with all these new movies that they were announcing and continuing series and, you know, sequels and all that. So everybody was there. It was nuts.